Welcome to the Werner Hof. Thank you all for getting up early, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready for the hard work of breaking the glass ceiling. You know, the countries of Switzerland and the United States are called the sister republics because our founding fathers collaborated to create these vibrant free market democracies. We're two of the oldest democracies in the world. And today, we collaborate to make our country stronger by enhancing those free market economies. How? By breaking the glass ceiling. If she can see it, she can be it. Kids need to see an abundance of female characters of every kind taking up the space that is rightly theirs. We know that if uh, girls see female characters engaged in unstereotyped activities, they are much more likely to pursue non-traditional careers later. In other words, if they see it, they can be it. To put it quite simply, women have to be at the tables where the decisions are being made. Let us remember also all these women and men who went through more than 70 votes in Switzerland in order to get the right to vote for women. Equality is definitely not a nice walk in good weather. It needs energy. It needs a lot of pioneers in politics or economy. The energy of these people from all over the world, their courage, their determination should inspire us today and tomorrow so long as we haven't achieved de facto gender equality. And I won't wait 300 years. In the last month, I met some women who have begun to feel a bit tired of fighting for gender equality. Some of them feel that they have devoted 30 years or more to this fight and that despite all, all their efforts, in some respects, we still remain at square one. The fight can indeed be trying and I sympathize with these women. But I tell these women that their contributions had not been in vain. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are today I only have to look at you today to realize we have made progress. Because of this conference and because of the preeminence of the, the women that come to this conference, and that has also been building over the three years it's been in existence, we're now looking at real systems, ways to um, actually implement change and bring the ratios into a more sort of equal place. I mean, we, ha we have raised the fact that we are sort of hovering down at the 20% level in terms of our representation in corporate boards, in the upper echelons of corporate management. All of that is, is pretty well established by the data that's been presented at this conference over the years. And now we're talking about specific methodologies such as gender lens investing and the EDGE certification process that will allow for companies to take action. On the Gender Lens Investing panel, it was very exciting to talk about very concrete tools and innovative tools that um, are scalable that could support this agenda of, of women's economic empowerment. So we talked about everything from shareholder activism to managing your individual port investment portfolio um, in a way that would seek out gender uh, biased investments um, to what I do, which is at, which is work in the government at a U.S. executive branch agency called OPEC, which is the government acting as an investor um, in supporting developing countries. It's not just a women's issue anymore in the old-fashioned definition of women's issues. This is a major economic issue because the companies and the governments that don't get with the program are going to fall behind and we now have statistical economic evidence of that. So 
As long as women are suppressed in some way, either in their education or in their freedom, those countries will not do well financially. And so it isn't a feminist cry anymore. It's an economic uh, question, and it's an economic movement because you help women, you help families, you help a country. We might be on the cusp of, of, of turning that corner because women are getting much more sophisticated about how to change the metrics. And that's where this creativity will come in. And uh, I think we all have to be motivated, remain optimistic, but understand that this is a pernicious problem and um, we're in it together.